I'm George Galloway, and this is a necessarily abbreviated version of what I would have said at the big Palestine demonstration in London to mark the 100th anniversary of the Balfour Declaration, and indeed what I would have said at any of the other Balfour commemorations too. I have spoken about this in Parliament and on public platforms for more years than I care to remember, but it would be wrong for me not to say something on the centenary events. The important thing to remember about Balfour is that it was yet another imperial lie, yet another British imperial crime. After all, Britain didn't even possess Palestine in the warped logic of imperial possessions at the time that it gave it away. It was thus unique, even by imperialist standards, as a crime, because it represented one people promising to a second people the land that belonged to a third people, before the people promising to give it away even possessed it in their hands. The second thing that needs to be remembered is that this is not ancient history. Balfour made this declaration 100 years ago. That means there's actually a small but increasing number of people who were alive at the time that he made it. It is also important to remember that the great crime against the Palestinian people, the Nakba, the catastrophe, occurred in the lifetime of many people who are still alive today. And the subsequent crimes against the Palestinian people in 1967, in the swinging 60s, the crime in Jordan in Black September of 1970, the massacres of the Palestinians in Lebanon in 1982, are all easily within the lifetime of many people who may watch this video. And of course, the subsequent series of massacres of the Palestinian people in Gaza in particular, but not only in Gaza, took place under the aegis of the people who are still in power today. So let me be unequivocal. Palestine belongs to the Palestinian people the people who were driven out, the people who have been made internal refugees, displaced people in their own country, the people who still live under illegal, brutal military occupation, but also the sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters, and now great-grandsons and granddaughters of the Palestinian people who were robbed, disinherited, by this great crime, which has gone entirely unpunished, and indeed the criminal is endlessly rewarded. So, what to do? Well, the only solution on this is a binational state between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea, a binational state of Israel hyphen Palestine or Palestine hyphen Israel, because of course. All the Israelis who have subsequently been born there have now acquired national rights. They have the light, right to live there. They just don't have the right to live in somebody else's house on somebody else's land for which they have not paid and the sale of which was never agreed in the first place. Every Palestinian has the right to return. That means the only solution is a single state a democratic state for Christians, Muslims and Jews living as equal citizens under the law and under a negotiated constitution that protects the heritage and the religion and the way of life of all of the people living there. I'm sorry that I haven't been asked to speak at the demonstration in London, but I didn't want to let the occasion pass without having my say. I'm George Galloway, and I hope the demonstration is a big success.